All right, I'm here on an outage. Um, for some reason, I'm having trouble getting block sync on the two leg on this amp, which feeds this uh, direct barrier line, which actually just goes down and back up uh, between these poles for whatever reason. Uh, the three four leg uh, works fine, but I did notice that my uh, in channel frequency response on most of my higher band channels was bad on this. And let me show you. Get down here out of the sun. So 3.4 on the ICFR is pretty bad. It's pretty much all these that are red have bad uh, ICFR. So look here how ripply they look. Instead of nice little flat plateau qualms, they're kind of wavy looking. So if we get a close in view on one of them, this is what uh, one channel looks like, channel 150. It's just really wavy. So I'm not really sure what's causing that. Could be something downstream of me reflecting back or it could be just that two leg on the amplifier. So I'm gonna swap this amplifier out with a similar amplifier, actually a brand new one. And uh, let's see if that makes a change. If not, then I'll have to troubleshoot something downstream. All right, I've swapped out the amplifier with a known good amplifier and I'm seeing the same results with the uh, in-channel frequency response. It's still really bad. This thing's struggling to block sync. So my guess is down the, this feeder that goes underground, it's an old direct barrier line, it's probably bad, causing massive reflections. That could be why everybody down that run is, is uh, out of service right now. So the ICFR is probably due to reflections, as you can see, echo. This is a reflection of the signal going out, coming back in on the same frequency. It's at negative 17 when we'd like to see that closer to negative 40s or lower. So I'm gonna troubleshoot that and find out what's going on with the speeder. All right, my amp is down there by those transformers underneath them there on the back side of the pole. It goes underground to here to this tap. Um, so yeah, I found this little surprise. That's my feeder. So somebody cut out a section and uh, yeah, I'm not sure why, but that's my problem. So this here is probably shorting out, causing, causing some reflection, some bad ICFR, some kind of weird stuff going on. So I'm surprised it didn't uh, blow a fuse or cause an outage when they cut it. So it looks like they cut it with a pretty crappy pair of pliers or something. There's a probably a old piece. Well, that might be my current piece. I gotta figure out which one's the, the real one here. So yep, looks like I got a little bit of splicing to do.